1830, Railroads and Robber Barons was originally a board game from Avalon Hill that's been translated to the PC about the railroad industry way back when and the men who ran them. I find that hard to believe. You find what hard to believe? That 1830 could have ever existed as a board game. After playing the PC version, I don't see how all of the stuff in this game could have been handled without a computer. Well, that's probably the reason they put it on the PC. There's so many things to do and keep track of, it plays quite well when there's a computer to manage it. The objective of the game is deceptively simple. Make more money than anyone else. You accomplish this through buying and selling stocks in railroad corporations, buying and selling smaller businesses, and establishing and running the rail lines themselves. The trouble is, anyone who isn't involved with business or at least have an interest in it will probably be lost. You can say that pretty much about the rest of 1830. That's not a fault with the game, though. You're right, that's simply the way the game was originally designed. Very business-oriented. You begin the game bidding on and buying small companies which supply only a small amount of initial income but provide little bonuses like that share of railroad stock that comes along with the business. I was confused at first, since these businesses are not the actual railroad corporations. They only allow you to get small advantages in the game. In fact, as the game goes along, the businesses are eventually closed down. It helps to know up front a little bit about how businesses and corporations actually work. The actual railroads are controlled through the buying and selling of their stock, which is the next part of the game. Each corporation has 10 shares of stock to buy and sell. The person who buys the first share of stock receives the president's certificate, which is worth two shares. Why have something like that? Well, the person who controls the most stock is the president and runs the corporation. If two people own the same amount of stock, whoever owns the president's certificate is the president. And the corporations don't open for business until six shares are bought off the market, right? Right. Then the corporation is considered floated, open for business, and starts running train routes. This is very business intensive. Clearly, it's not for everyone, but it is fun once you get into it. When the stocks are divided up, the operating rounds begin. This is where the corporations begin laying track and establishing routes. The more routes that run, the more money that the corporation makes, which means the more dividends they pay out and the higher their stocks rise. Whoa, everything affects everything else. Just like in the real world, huh? There are various types of trains to buy, and when the more advanced ones start running, then some of the more obsolete ones are taken out of the game. And as I found out the hard way, even if those obsolete trains are the only ones you own, poof, they're gone. So Railroad Baron Bob can really mess up the other barons by buying more advanced trains. It gets to be a very cutthroat game. As the game goes along, there are different types of track tiles that can be used to connect the rails in cities. As you update the tracks in the cities, the money made in that city also increases. At the beginning of the game, there's the basic one stretch of track which curves left and right. More tracks are introduced later in the game which have branches going every which way. There's an option to play with limited tracks that are available, making it easier for you to shaft and be shafted by the other barons. When first playing the game, 1830 can be kind of difficult to learn. This almost plays more like a business simulation than a game. I was wandering around shouting red rum, red rum the first time I read the manual. It's like being in business school at times. The other problem is that unless you really like business competition, you probably won't like this. But don't misunderstand, the game is actually well done and once you're into it, it's pretty easy to play and a lot of fun. 